This home has one of my favorite features, which is a wet bar in the game room. Stay tuned. Amy with Heart and Home Orlando and welcome to today's home tour. This is one of my favorite big floor plans. At over 5,000 square feet, this home has seven bedrooms and four bathrooms. We are here at Winter Garden, Florida and this home is ready and waiting for you. So it is a brand new inventory home. So before we start the video tour, I just wanted to remind you that I'm a realtor here in this area. So the first thing you need to do is give me a call at 407-848-8042. You can watch the rest of the video, but then make sure you give me a call. If you are actively or seriously interested in trying to find a home here in this area, remember, I do not work for the builders. I do not represent the builders. I'm a buyer agent. I'm a realtor here in Florida that can help you find your new home. And if you live here already, I can certainly help you list your home as well. All right, so now let's start this video tour. So this is one of the biggest, most beautiful floor plans, and I absolutely love it. This is the Del Rio by Meritage Homes, and it is over 5,000 square feet. One of the things that I really like about this particular floor plan is it really doesn't leave anything um, that, it, it, that it doesn't have. It has a room for everything. For instance, as soon as you come over here to the right, you do have a formal dining room. This formal dining room does connect to the pantry and to the kitchen area back over in that direction. But what I think is super unique about this particular floor plan is this space over here. So you have your pass through over here into your formal living room, you know, this essentially what this is, a little gathering room or a living room. But what is really spectacular and unique about this is this, it continues and you have these private double doors. So now take a minute and think about you and your lifestyle, your work, your employment situation. Do you work from home and you need a designated office space? This is a great spot. It's at the front of the home. It's at the front corner, away from all of the noise, hustle and bustle from the rest of the fun that's going to be happening in this home. I've had clients build this home. They've used that as a homeschool classroom. There's just an, any number of ways you can utilize this space. But having an open um, formal living room area and then an additional private space that's attached to it really is spectacular. So think about how you might want to use that space. All right. So one of the things that people love about this is right up there. Everyone likes the two story, uh, two story foyer. There we go. Two story foyer. That's really hard to say. Um, high, up high like that, and to see that the, uh, the open railing looking down below. So we're gonna go upstairs and take a, well, we're gonna take a long tour up there because there's a lot to see. But you do want to get a glimpse of the wood stairs, the wrought iron railing as well. So back over here, you have, um, coming into the main living area, you have a nice big closet over here, okay? In Florida, we don't have um, basements typically speaking, uh, water table's too high. And we also really can't use our attic space for too much serious storage because it just gets too hot up there. So Meritage just did a great job with this floor plan and allowing lots of closet space. Okay, welcome to the main hub of the home. I love this. I Every time I come in this home, I just imagine myself cooking and I'm baking cookies because that would be a dream for me to ever have time to do that. But cooking, family, friends, it's so much fun. Love this open space. So a nice, big, beautiful kitchen. And remember, this home that I'm in is the one that we're talking about. You can still build, maybe, but take a look at the options for this one. Look at the gorgeous flooring. You have the white quartz counters. You have the contrasting um, darker cabinets with the wrought, uh, wrought iron, with the uh, fresh, fresh nickel hardware. And then of course you have the gourmet kitchen option. You have the hood up above. You have backsplash that goes all the way up and you have this. I love it. I love it. I love right here. This is the Amy cabinet. I don't have one, but I want an Amy cabinet. It's the corner and it's glass and it's beautiful and it sells the whole kitchen for me personally. I love that. Okay. So over here is going to be your informal dining room area. So this is your spot for square, rectangular, circular, whatever table you need to have here. Or if you don't really need this space, I've actually had people build this and not use this space. They just kind of made this a continuation of the uh, family room to utilize those double sliders that take you out to your extended lanai that goes all the way 
down the whole length of the home. Absolutely spectacular. So a great amount of space for you to be outside um, and have some fun out there as well. So over here is the family room space. So again, you've got lots of space here. Um, on the first floor, you've got big kitchen, you've got the family room, you've got dining room, you've got living room, you've got an office space, but you still have a lot to see. So let's go back over here. So tucked over here is another bedroom and another full bath. Now there are seven in this home, so we're going to count as we go. So here's bathroom number one. This is going to double as your pool bath, okay? So double as your pool bath. Now one thing I want to point out, because this is so cool. So we don't have this in mind. We have a pool bath and ours is just a big glass door and we had to frost it, but look, I love this. So if you see that this, the blinds are built in the glass frame, do you see that? So cool. All right, so over here you have your shower stall, you have a pedestal sink, and you have the toilet. So again, this doubles as pool bath, but also bathroom for this bedroom. So this bedroom's ba um, tucked back over here in the back rear corner of the home. So you have spot back over here and you have a nice closet as well. So as we walk through this, I hope you're kind of taking note and thinking about your friends and, well, friends and family, but your family, whoever's moving and staying here, and you can kind of go ahead and designate some of these rooms. I also had a client that used that as their office space because it was also tucked away, but kind of close and accessible. So this home actually has a dual master. So it has seven bedrooms, but two of those are masters. So back Back over here is going to be master bedroom number one. So you have a master on the first floor and you have a master on the second. So master bedroom number one is back here in the back corner of the home and it is beautiful. Nice and big, lots of space. Love the amount of space here in this. You have a lot of usable wall space, which is something that um, can, be, can be difficult to find. I was with clients this past weekend, we were looking at a lot of homes and their main thing was where was their king size um, master bedroom set of furniture gonna go? And literally that was the qualifying and disqualifying factor so this absolutely no issues lots of space so the master bathroom also nice and big and I like the master baths that are um, kind of linear like this so that you're not kind of all around love this so you have one vanity here sink with extra vanity space you have the um, the sunken garden tub and then over here you have a secondary vanity and then I like this because you have a little makeup zone so then back over here, you're going to have your privacy door for your toilet. You still have a shower, so you get both tub and shower, and you have a nice big, um, huge actually, a nice big closet back over here for the master bedroom. So remember, this is master bedroom number one. So on the first floor, we've covered a lot of square footage, but what you haven't seen is the magnificent, and I need to pull out a map to guide us through the second floor of the home. Stay tuned. So welcome to the upstairs of this Del Rio. This right here is probably one of my favorite features of this home. This upstairs game room wet bar is really amazing. And if you've got kids, if you've already got a home that has like this game room flex space, you know how much you need. And if you don't need it, you want it because then once you have it, you'll know that you actually need it. And I say that from personal experience. We don't have one and I really, really want one. But the game room is a great zone for your kids, for your family and friends that come over for birthday visits or just Friday nights or Saturday afternoons. If you've got the soccer team over for the end of the season party, this space in your home is always going to get use from just watching a Netflix marathon of the crown or Harry Potter marathons, or if the kids are playing video games, this is an absolute must have in a home when you've got kids. And this is absolutely spectacular. Not only do you have this incredible and huge, by the way, this is huge. Huge. And I just want to point out how large. So let's do like a corner to corner. So from corner to corner here in this game room, look at all of this space. This area right here is recessed. It's set back in the wall. So you could add built-ins or you could just have an entertainment system right here and still not touch all of the square footage here um, of the floor space. You also have this little nook right here. You could create something fun right here or just leave it open because it has such a gorgeous view of that front foyer area. So spectacular game room, wet bar. I'm in love. I'm in love. I'm in love. I could only be more in love if it had a media room. And guess what? It has a media room. So here we have the media room 
with stadium seating. So in this area, you have a designated space and it's a true media room. Do you see any windows in here? No windows in here. So this is a darker, true media room. You have the stadium seating or in my house, when my kids were little, it would be the stage. They would perform up here on the stage. But here for this particular room, it's stadium seating. So you can put your recliners, your chairs here, put another layer or um, a little bit lower. And then of course you've got all of your TV and you've got all of your hookups and your components ready for you there. This media room right here off of the game room and the wet bar, I can smell the popcorn now. Okay, keep going. Like really, I want some popcorn. Okay, back over here. Here is a nice big closet. So keep this in mind. If you have that nice great, um, game room, you might want to have an extra space to store some of maybe the games or maybe the vacuum cleaner, something that you might need. Great, nice big closet over there. So on this wing, and I say wing because there's two sides of this game room. So on this side, game room's in the middle with the wet bar. This whole wing over here is going to have three bedrooms and that one over there is going to have two. So we have the big closet here and now we have another big bedroom. Really big bedroom. The size of these bedrooms is so nice and so generous. Great spot right here. And then you have another closet here as well. It's a nice big walk-in, small door, but generous closet. So nice spot right here. I just didn't want that to be deceiving. That looks like it's a small door. It's not, it's a big closet in there. Then down this hallway, you're gonna have two more bedrooms and another big bathroom. So here's the bathroom that's gonna um, kind of service uh, these bedrooms. So you have a nice big um, single sink there, cabinet, uh, ca cabinet, yes it is, cabinet, counter, vanity space. You're gonna also have a linen closet, which is nice because sometimes um, we forget about the linen closet. Uh, having it inside the bathroom I think is awesome. And then of course you have the tub shower and take a look at the flooring. Again, you've got the square gray tile, dark cabinets, and you have what I call like a salt and pepper um, with some topes. You could really pull out some greens if you wanted to. Grays, tans, creams, blacks in the um, granite counters there. This is another bedroom. There's a lot. Remember it was seven. So we had two downstairs, right? And we saw the other one. This is bedroom four, right? I don't know where we are. This is another big bedroom. Put it that way. And I love this. I love that it has this big window right here. I love all that Florida sunshine that just comes right in these windows. And it's a really beautiful one centered right here on that wall. So that was one, two, now we're back over here. This is the third bedroom on this wing. So another big bedroom and two more big beautiful windows. So one of my favorite things with this builder are their really beautiful exterior elevations and how the front facades are just so, so aesthetically pleasing and these windows just let the sunshine flood in. It's really beautiful. So nice big bedroom here and another nice big closet. So remember, so this is just this wing. We still have to walk back this way. We still have, um, by the way, this was over here. This was another big closet for storage because remember we talked earlier about needing storage all over the place. Closet, closet, closets everywhere. So great place for hide and seek. Ooh, what a great house. All right, so back over here again, you have all of this space. Now remember we said it's a dual master. So a dual master means it's gonna have two master bedrooms. You had that big master bedroom on the first floor and now you have this secondary big master bedroom here on the second floor. So think about you and your family. I cannot tell you how many clients I have that their parents or their in-laws live with them or they expect them to be visiting um, for months at a time and so they need a first floor master. Well, this home is going to provide you both so that you don't have to sacrifice your own. So another great master bathroom layout. I love this one as well. You have the garden tub, big window, sunshine just floods in. And I love this particular counter because it corners the, its way around. Really beautiful the way the mirrors kind of bounce off of each other. Probably not great for the cameraman, but great when you walk in. Over here is your privacy door for the toilet. You have your shower back over here and then look at this big closet. This is a really big, beautiful closet. Not only is it a big, beautiful closet, but you have a nice window in here as well. And I love closets with windows. All right, we're not done yet because there's still another bedroom to see. So if you've been counting with me, so we had two on the first floor and then we had three on that side. So two plus three is five. This makes six. So we still have one more and it's going to be back this way behind me. So down this hallway is another bedroom because there's just, you know, they keep going in this house. Another nice big bedroom. Now I had another client that when they um, originally were going to buy this home, they were going to use this as the office because it was close to the master. Um, I think they changed their mind and ended up doing it downstairs. But the fact that there's so many rooms here in this home, 
really kind of makes it incredibly versatile. So you can find a way to make each of these rooms work for you for however you need, however your family is made up, how many people, how many um, age different groups you've got in your home. It's a great floor plan to be completely versatile and accommodate whatever it is that you want and need. So if you are interested in this home, if you want more information about this specific home, please give me a call at 407 848-8042. Remember, it is completely free for you to use me as your buyer agent. Do not work for these builders. Do not start making phone calls. Do not start um, kind of researching. Just give me a call. I can save you all of that headache and give you that information. And if it's not this home, then I bet I probably have a good idea where at other places that we could look. But this Del Rio is absolutely spectacular. I hope this will be your new home. Have a great day, everybody. Uh, thanks for watching and happy house hunting.